right, welcome back to the show. On the road again in the Pac-12. It's never easy on the road, but November is going to be very, very tough. And November starts in Seattle against the Washington Huskies, a very, very good Husky team. Very good Husky team that's very good at home. You know, they've got two losses on the season in Lincoln, Nebraska, to Nebraska, who's ranked ninth right now. Um, and then in Palo Alto to Stanford, who's ranked third or fourth right now. So um, Steve Sarkeesian has done a great job with that program to out to a 6-2. and two. In, in really playing football, especially on the offensive side of the ball, extremely well. And, and they're a diverse group on the offensive side of the ball, and, and uh, they're really going to present a lot of problems for our defense. Well, a lot of problems. You can start the quarterback position. You can start at wide receiver. You can go anyplace else. I'm going to go to the tailback, Chris Polk, because against Arizona in that 42-31 victory, five touchdowns on the ground, four of them, but one of them through the air. He's a dual threat either way, isn't he? he yeah, he can beat you as a back coming out of the backfield or just as a pound you type guy at running back. He's got good size. Um, he's got decent speed. Um, he's very tough to knock down. He seems like he gets stronger as the game goes along. And uh, I think he's fifth in the nation right now rushing the football. And he's arguably one of the top backs in the country. And you got a chance to see Keith Price last year here at Autzen Stadium. He's much improved, obviously. 66% completion percentage, over 2,000 yards, one of the highest uh, rated passers in the country. He's leading that offense right now. He is, and thrown over 20 touchdowns, and he's got some weapons in Aguilar and Curse and Austin Safarian Jenkins to go along with Polk. So um, they, they're very diverse, and, and they run a multiple scheme on offense, but it, it takes a quarterback that's got some a, a great knowledge base of what he's doing um, to be able to execute all those things, and he's executing at a very high level right now. Well, they've been, they've been a patient team that's evolved, I think, early in the season with games against Eastern Washington and Hawaii that could have misled some people that this wasn't a very good Washington team. They've stayed with it. They've gotten better and better. And as you talked about the offensive side, but defense plays pretty active too. They've got some active court Dennison and some of the others on defense that can make some plays and, and really disrupt things for you. They do. And, and they've got a great D lineman and Almeida T Tamu and then court Dennison has been around for a while. And then Fellner in the secondary has been around and Trufant and Richardson. So there's a, a core group of guys that have played a lot of football for them. They're very active. They like to blitz. They like to bring a lot of pressure. Um, they're a little bit undersized. Uh, a couple big defensive tackles, but besides that, they're undersized uh, at the defensive end and outside linebacker. But they try to utilize their athletic ability and their speed at those positions to, to get after you. And then they've done a, um, you know, they, they've improved. Uh, they played Arizona very tough last week. And, and obviously, we know how talented Nick Foles is. But um, I thought they played really, really strong in the fourth quarter and, and, and shut down a real big passing attack in Nick. And um, it, again, it's the last game in Husky Stadium. Place will be sold out. It'll be rocking, and our guys will be excited. Well, uh, th this league seems to have some tremendous true freshmen. A couple of the true freshmen for Washington are going to be on display. Case and Williams, you mentioned uh, Austin Safari and Jenkins. You have your own. It's a, it's pretty amazing to me how many young guys, true freshmen in this league, are contributing to their teams. It is, and then obviously, where would we be without Troy and DeAnthony and, and all the young guys that are playing for us? And it's um, playing key key roles for us. And I think it's it's you know the future of the league is very strong. And, and, and all of us, um, no matter what program you're talking about, is counting on a couple of young guys to really contribute heavily for them. All right, Coach. Well, thanks again for joining us here. Uh, it's the farewell game, is what they're calling it up at Husky Stadium. Oregon goes to Washington to play the Washington Huskies at Husky Stadium, 730 in Seattle on Saturday. Hope you join us here along the Oregon IMG Sports Network.